soon as I'll be done with all the rusty shit boxes and watching the old man's garage on YouTube. I guess while that's going on, if I'm going to be boring the block, maybe I'll do a little video to help anybody that maybe hasn't run one of these boring bars because these things are available. And you might as well buy them if you can because there are nice things to do this on your own. If you get one of these things, you want to center the board because obviously if you just strap that deal on there and go to cutting, it's not going to be so good. So what you have to tie it on here is a, a tie bar that goes in the bottom. Probably should start there. You gotta slide this back. One thing you want to do is you want to make sure your deck is super clean, bottom of your board bar is super clean because any deviation you're gonna have a crooked board. So make sure everything is flat and straight before you start. Then you've got a tie bar you put in to strap this thing down to the block. Well, I use this type. And this round rod goes up into the mains. Well, I'm not really worried about the mains. It is round and smooth, so it shouldn't hurt anything. But if it does, we still are probably going to end up line holding this block anyhow, so not really a big deal. The other type of uh, holder, it'll, it'll bridge the bottom of the cylinder. Every once in a while, you'll see that it'll break a sleeve a little bit when you tie it down hard. So I'd rather use this type. So you just put that up in there. You try and get it indexed in. Oh, it'll make you swear a little bit. Yeah, I didn't lost it. Well, there, she's slid into place. And what you have is three holes on your boring shaft. And you're going to have these guide pins. These guide pins are for different sizes of board. You've got several different sizes in your set. You want to put those in, you want to make damn sure there's no debris of any kind in the receiver for these. And the pointed end goes in. So then you center this. I still get it hung here, so I've got to move this. Because if I try to center it for that, I try to drop it with that, and you go down. You run this down, pin wind up with your hole, and you tighten this. And this drives those pins out in the board. So this way, your boring bar is completely centered, because if you don't center your boring bar, and you start cutting, you're going to have a cylinder that's out around. So, I like to tighten this down pretty good. So you don't have to worry about anything coming apart, getting loose on you. Slap these babies off. And pull your fins out. So then what I like to do, just to double check everything, is I put my cutter in. That is wrong. That's the wrong cutter. I put my cutter in. I run it down into the cylinder. I set it.
Well, I feel pretty good about that. So, I'm going to grind it up. And, I'm going to cut maybe, maybe a 10 pound cut. I don't want to get too aggressive. I don't want to get back to my proper slicing. You, know? you want to kind of sneak up on your first bore. Slow but sure. Make sure you don't go digging too deep for what cut because then you can put it back. I mean, if you really screw it up, you can put a sleeve in it. Because we're sleeving some over here, not because they were overcut, but because they were rock, and the block of seeds and the out. So we're going to make this little tendo cut. This is not going to touch everything. These cylinders are going to want to wear. It's going to miss places. It's going to miss a lot of places. And we're going to keep our fingers crossed and we're going to do a big enough cut so we're going to have it.
There's a little Allen wrench right here, a bolt right here, and your guide hole here. Well, that guide hole can get full of chips when you're in your board. Water the off good, make sure everything's clean. Otherwise, it's going to take a hell of a lot to have a 10 valve chip in there. <clears throat> All of a sudden, you're cutting 20 instead of 10. It's going to get you in a lot of trouble. Now crank it down, flip this, get it locked, put it in here. That's all there is to it. These things spit at you pretty bad sometimes, so. I'm going to watch your eyes. And hold my breath there. Hope it gets it. This is looking pretty good. Missed a little too many spots. I think it's alright though. Plus, we're gonna cut a little more in. If this cut gets it, it should be good. When I'm doing those sleeves, I'll cut 25 out at a time. It's not that fussy of a bore. If you want a nice straight bore, you don't want to get too greedy and cut too much. The drill is big. The shaft will walk a little bit. I mean, half pile or whatever. But if you save you a lot of work on it, you just you cut it as straight as possible. If you end up with a nice easy measure all the way through, honing becomes pretty simple. If you're trying to hold the paper out of it or some stupid thing, honing is complicated as hell. But, um, makes your life easy. Cut paper. What are you doing? I am doing wonderful rust repair. <laughs> I'm really living the dream. Sucks to be you. It does. I look like a butte you got there. What? I look like a butte. Yeah, that's a nice one. I'll show the people. <laughs> I'm about a foul small, and I have this little mark, it's a stain, which I would say is fine. I will set my knife, I've got this other knife here set to my final measure, so I'm just going to 
Set this up. I'll do a high speed cut for a nice finish. And then I'll sand for the top of the hole. So that is another thing I'll show you. And it makes life a lot easier on assembly. This right here at the top is sharp right now. So I'd like to go ahead and have that smooth. So we're cutting a file, file and a half here. Nice high speed cuts, really smooth and really slick. Saves you, again, a lot of work honing. And that actually got that little stain out, so that's awesome. So that was clean. You can feel anything there, pretty good, all right? And it is. That is super. You get lucky, the other, the other three on this side are coming up the plane. What I'll say, some headaches. Well, I'll have to do, I'll roll this corn bar around to this hole next, and then I'll switch my holder over to this hole, and I'll do this one and that one. But I don't like to get too far over from my holder because the corn bar can start to move and do stupid things. You want to keep everything just as secure as you can. Flat, clean, and secure. You won't have a problem. Make a mistake, you're gonna have a problem, you're not gonna like the result. Uh, when we were learning to use it, didn't have a tight map. And we moved, and then, you know, get out to one side of the phone. Yeah, no big deal, we were just walking through the crap and all. But just a nice thing to learn just how tight you gotta put it. I, I, I bind it down there in good shape. And I remember getting blocked years ago from some of those. Uh, there's a place here called Eastern Rebuilders. I had a block from them. Kept taking out the number eight rod bearings, like constantly. Come to find out the bore. The bore was not straight. And that was why. Put the side pressure on that rod. There we go. We're on the money. And that's a nice clean hole. So now, what I'm going to do this. I'll bring it out so it's manual. I'm going to take this knife. I'm going to set it out. So it's cutting kind of right along the edge of this board. This upper edge. I want the 45 of the knife kind of out here. And then I'm going to just start it. Bring it down this wall. You just cut a nice 45 at the top. What you end up with? On the wrong side. What you end up with is this chamfer right here. It sure makes life better going in. See how nice that cylinder looks now? I think it's fresh. Take the bore mic. I have got the mic set up to the piston. So the piston is zero. I'm a foul bigger than the piston. It's a forged piston, so we're going to walk four. It leaves me three to hone. It's pretty even all the way down the bore. So, pretty nice. See, we're well within about a quarter of a thou everywhere, so that's pretty slick. That'll work. So, one good hole. Three more to go on this side. <laughs> 